Okay, now, here's story number two about my uncle, my great uncle Fred. Uh, he was born in 1896 or 1898, something like that. I know my grandfather was born in 1900. You know what? I can't ask anybody about this. Everybody's all dead. My parents are dead. My aunts are dead. Everybody, my uncle's dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody who's dead knows about this. But I know this story and this stuff needs to be recorded and put out there. Uh, as I told you in the last video, he loved Paris so much. He, he, he was drafted in World War I, went over there, and uh, fought in the trenches in France. Then when they liberated Paris in World War I, he loved Paris so much that when he came home, he became a dentist. Then he learned French and went over there and took the dental exam in, in French, moved to Paris. Never got married, only girlfriends and all that stuff. Bachelor life, cool, you know? Uh, his one girlfriend, her father was a farmer out in uh, France somewhere, you know, plowing the fields one time. You know, he's plowing the fields, I guess. I don't know whether he had a horse. I don't know why, what he plowed the fields with. Anyway, he was plowing the fields and found two clay pots. And the cl two clay pots had Roman gold coins in them. I mean, he had, he had hundreds of these gold coins. And they were all in perfect shape. They were down there for hundreds of years, you know? My great uncle, or Uncle Fred, my father's Uncle Fred, whatever you want to call him, Uncle Fred is what we always called him. Uncle Fred bought two of these coins. I can't even find them online because I kind of remember what they looked like. I can't even find them online. <clears throat> these things were perfect mint shape. Not a fucking scratch on them. I've seen them a couple times. And uh, with these gold coins, I thought, you know, we'd, we'd be left them in inheritance and all that stuff. Well, anyway, before my uncle died, Uncle Fred died, he wanted to sell them. So he sold them to uh, Tom Linares. I know there's a Tom Linares who was a year younger than me in high school, and it was his father. I think his name was Tom. He owned a diner on Route 3 made a lot of money I know since now he's passed but he wanted to buy the gold coins he's the the one gold coin went for seven thousand dollars and the other one went for fifteen thousand dollars like this is 1989 90 something like that a lot of money for those gold coins they were in perfect shape I'm not even sure what year they were in or what but amazing you know and the guy who had the gold coins when he the guy plowing the fields, who, who was his, my uncle's girlfriend's father, plowing the fields, found the clay pots with the gold coins in them, did not report it to France. Because you reported to France, they would have taken it away and not given him, given him shit. They would have taken all the gold coins and here you are with your thumb up your ass. So he knew better. You know, so he sold the coins, you know, here, $50 a piece, $50 a piece, $50 a piece. I guess he sold them all. I don't know. This is so long ago. This is going back probably before World War World War Two. So, anyway, you know, like you see all these treasure maps. Someone says, "Oh, I found an old treasure map. Let's go hunting for the treasure." You know what? That treasure was probably found 150 years ago, and no one reported finding it because they knew the government would take it. Even the United States government. So, if you find anything buried, you find a big gold bar or something. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell the government. Say it was a family heirloom, because they will steal it from you. All right, peace out. I hope you like the story about the gold coin. And uh, it's a pretty cool, cool story about the guy. A farmer finds them, doesn't want to return to the to government, sells them off the, off the cuff, you know, for 50 bucks a piece. Then years later, they're worth so much money. But I guess they're still in the Linares family. Linares, he was from uh, Demarest, New Jersey. I guess they're still in the family. Hey, Tom, those were uh, Leffler Fairly Heirlooms. I'm glad you own them. Don't sell them. Don't sell them. They're priceless. Those things don't have a scratch on them. I remember. All right. Peace out, everybody. Love you all. Take care. Enjoy life. Bye-bye.